Welcome back to Wave React. Today we have a special episode. I'm showing Kelsey, my wife here, the vault tracks from 1989. She's not heard them. I have. You probably saw me react with Zach to them. So yeah, we're going to listen to them and stick around to the end where we announce the winners to the 1989 vinyl contest. You'll win this or the Aquamarine. So we're going to make this a little bit more fun. <laughs> I'm going to guess what I think your favorite track is going to be, but... Don't don't look at the monitor. Okay. So this is what I think her favorite song is going to be. Let's see at the end if that is indeed true. All right. First one is named Slut! Exclamation Slut. point. But it's interesting because it's in quotes. So it's like somebody saying it, not her. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. wasn't how I was expecting it to start out sounding by the title of the song. I said the exact same thing when I first heard it. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. It's a really soft song. There's not a lot of instruments. Yeah, all these are produced by Jack Antonoff, who's from Bleachers. interesting so yeah like you said it wasn't what i was expecting based on the name no it's actually like a love song in many ways um but i did like the part where she said you know if they're gonna call me this maybe it'll be worth it for once i like that line yeah because you know during this time as you know i mean that was what people are calling her because of all the boyfriends and stuff so this was kind of her yeah. In many ways, it's mirrors blank space. And she spoke on that saying, you know, I had to decide between this and blank space because they're both kind of about the same thing, just coming at it from different angles. Yeah, I can see probably why blank space was chosen for the album. Yeah. It's more consumer friendly. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, this one was interesting. I like, you know, like you said, they're going to call me it regardless. My, it shouldn't affect my actions. Yeah. You know. But in, the, in that regard, it was more like, you know, this guy's worth it. If they're going to call me it, at least I'm yeah. with this person. Right, but people are going to say what they're going right. to say. You can't let it hold you back and be like, oh, should I enter in another relationship? Yeah. You know, everyone's going to have their opinion no matter what. So the fans think most of these tracks are about Harry Styles. Okay. Much like 1989. That's the fan uh, consensus there. All right, let's get into this next one. It's called Say Don't Go. I've known it from the very start. We're a shot in the darkest dark. Oh no, oh no, I'm on, oh. That shot in the darkest dark is also in Getaway Car, your current favorite song by her. It's a jam. Word for word, same lyric. Shot in the dark. 
Love those drums. Love the structure of the chorus. Wish she like says the line before the line mm -hmm. quick, it's like an echo but reverse I'll have to listen to that when she comes back to it Be cool with the audience, like call and response a little bit. This would have definitely been a good addition to the original album. I wonder why it got cut. Baseline, mm, it's all I'm just good. Thinking that. There's a lot of emotion in that one. Yep. What I think is interesting about the vault tracks versus the standard 1989 is it seems like these were more scathing in some ways, more emotional, which I think, you know, she was trying to redirect her brand a little bit with 1989. Like it was more positive look at yeah. relationships where this is kind of her a little bit more sad, I guess, in some yeah. ways. So with the story of Harry, the relationship basically ended because she said, I love you, and he didn't say it back. Usually a turning point in a relationship, and if someone's not feeling it, and you right. are. And I've heard people say, like, he chased after her, and then once it was like a relationship, I guess he yeah. felt like, oh, I won the chase, and he kind of fell out of it Yeah, I mean, a little bit. Tale as old as time. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So, cool. Interesting. Yeah, I really like that one a lot. I Yeah, I love that one. It's said a lot in one song. <laughs> Into the next one. Now that we don't talk. You 
went to a party I heard from everybody You part the crowd like the Red Sea Don't even get me started Did you get anxious though? On the way home I guess I'll never ever know Now that we don't talk You grew your hair long You got new icons And from the outside It looks like you're trying lives on I miss the old ways You didn't have to change But I guess I don't That hook is, is that, so bleachers. Is that just her vocals or is there another? That's Jack also with okay. it. Yeah, that's why like, it sounds. That doesn't sound just like Taylor. Yeah. It sounds like there's somebody else there. There's a good catch. That whole yacht thing is another clue to Harry. It's such a short song. Yeah, I was not ready for it to end right there. <laughs> I think she said something about this being her shortest song. Yeah, ever. that was very yeah. short. Is interesting, but some say that maybe that's the thing about the relationship. It's a short relationship, <laughs> and it ended quickly. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Is she a mastermind? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, a, yeah. They do talk now, apparently. If it is about Harry, really? Yeah. Oh so, wow! So the yacht line is apparently so her and Harry like out on their boat or whatever and I don't know if this is the point where she got mad and left or what but she had left and then he went and hung out with like Richard Branson on his yacht so she said you know talk to important men on a yacht it was kind of a All right. another clue yeah yeah but that that uh There's a lot of attitude with that song yeah <laughs> the production is totally bleachers though I don't know if I caught that in the first reaction but that hook where you said it sounded like him like that's classic mm -hmm. bleacher sound next one suburban legends the pitch shifting on that synth is cool Synth, that bass synth is like so synth wave 80 sound yes it's 1989 right yeah i definitely feel that 80s vibe
I can't not think of Kesha when I hear that. <laughs> Very different song. I know. I just say that line. Tick-tock on the clock. broke my own heart because you were too polite to do it. Yeah, it's interesting, right? Yeah. So this one, there was no like direct clues to Harry. So some people think maybe it was the Kennedy that she dated or something like that. I mean, if he just ghosted, well, too polite to do it. I don't know. That's an interesting line. Yeah, I like the Suburban Legends visual because I can just see like it's yeah the college football king and the cheerleader or whatever and they actually get married and then they're, you know, husband and wife and a legend in their community. Yeah. But I think this was her like reimagining whatever relationship she was in and high school very much being like Hollywood and the industry and all that. So Yeah. And that takes us to our last one. Is it over now? What is that supposed to be? It's a vocal effect, like pitched up. There's like a deep one too, though, the ooh. Mm hmm. It almost sounds like a bird. You dream of my mouth before it called you a lying traitor. You search in every maiden's bed for something greater, baby. Was it over when she laid down on your couch? Was it over when he unbuttoned my blouse? Come here, I whispered in your ear and your dream as you peach. I said scathing earlier. Cool production. When you lost control, uh-huh. red blood, white snow. Uh-huh. To reference to their snowmobile accident, her and Harry. Uh-huh. Did not know she got a snowmobile accident. Oh, really? Okay. Up a very tall some things just to see you come running and see the one thing I've been wanting, but no, let's fast forward to 300 awkward blind dates later. If she's got blue eyes, I will surmise that she'll probably date you. You dream of my mouth before and called you a lying traitor. You search in every mouth. Yeah, clowning on the production. I think I didn't see you, there were flashing lights. At least I had the decency to keep my lights out of sight. Only when was by my hips and thighs, and I whispered sighs. Oh, Lord, I think about jumping off a very tall some things just to see you come running, running, and say the one thing I've been wanting, but no. Flashing lights to take is like paparazzi.
that another reference to not saying I love I you back? I think so, yep. <laughs> yep. Oh. Yep. So that takes us to the I end. I really like that one. I like the pacing and the only thing I just, I don't, I didn't care for that vocal effect. Really? It, was a, it threw me off every I time I heard it. Just didn't feel like it belonged. I could have did without it. But other than that, really like that one. Cool. Is that your favorite then? It is not my favorite. It's my okay. second favorite. Okay. My favorite would be the second one that you played. To what I guess, folks. <laughs> what I guess. And the name of that one is? Say Don't Go. Say Don't Go. Yeah. Yeah. That one was pretty close to getaway car, I feel, and production, and then that reference. And I mean, it's a great hook. And actually, that was co-written by Diane Warren. Diane Warren? Is mm-hmm. that right? Yeah. Who you referenced on the In Sync episode that we did. So I thought yeah. that was cool. Yeah, it was a good one. Yeah. But this one, I mean, like I said, it was pretty uh, honest, and she didn't hold nothing back. I feel that's why it got left off in 1989, because it just... and too bold. Yeah. And also the time, like I w- wasn't around the fandom then and all that, but from what I gather, Harry was kind of more famous in some ways. And, really? and they didn't, like the One Direction fans didn't like her dating him oh, because geez. obviously they drama, wanted to drama. date him. You know, they wanted him. They didn't want That's her having him. It Clearly in this song, you know, she mentioned both of them are kind of cheating or yeah. whatever, but I don't think they ever were like an official relationship. So I don't think, I think that's why it was kind of accepted. Yeah, that was, is it, is it over now? And that is actually the single that she launched from this album Okay. of the track. She was originally, I think, going to do Slut. I think that was her favorite and that's what they had prepared. But then last minute they kind of switched like, hey fans, what do you guys think? And this is what the fans chose. So definitely... Yeah. Catchy. And I think if you listen to it more, it's cool. I like that drum part into kind of the faster. For sure. Part. Really cool. Yeah. I think this is a solid single choice. Uh, I would prefer this one over Slut as well. Yeah. I think Say Don't Go, though. I think that could do well. I mean, yeah. I mean, it was my favorite. So (laughs) obviously, I think it'd be a good, good single. Awesome. Well, here's. I'm going to throw a little clip up of the giveaway winners. Me and Zach are going to announce. Yeah. Yep. Good luck to everybody. We're here to announce the giveaway winners for our two copies of 1989 Taylor's version that we talked about in our Taylor Swift reaction video two weeks ago. Yep. First up, we have this aquamarine version that's going to go to our patron, Bradley. They said their favorite song was Is It Over Now? And then for the YouTube version, our winner is Jerrica8123, who also liked Is It Over Now as their favorite vault Popular. Track. It's the single. So they're going to win Crystal Skies Blue Edition. We will get in touch with you both directly and get your shipping details. Shipping is going to be on us, and we will get these out as soon as possible. But congratulations to you both. Congrats. Appreciate everybody entering and checking out our videos. And if you want to check out our whole 1989 reaction, me and Zach reacted to it along with the Vault Tracks. It was my first listen on the Vault Tracks on this time. You know, I had heard them, got to digest them, and learned a little bit more about them. So I was happy to share it with my wife here and i was happy to listen thank you for showing me yep thanks for sticking around of course (laughs) thanks for (laughs) thanks for sticking with me (laughs) thanks for listening and catch you guys later see ya